Hi, my name is Scott Kirk, President of Dynamic Church Planning International. Welcome to our series on mentoring. Over the past few times together, we've been talking about the truth that every church planter needs a mentor. A mentor is someone who has been where you want to go and is willing to help you get there. Today, we want to talk about another person who you need in your life. Each of us needs someone to mentor. In the same way that a mentor comes into our life and encourages us and we have our passion ignited, we need to invest our life into others and ignite their passion. The person you mentor catches your passion. A mentor is both a verb and a noun. It's something we do as well as someone who we are. God wants to help you become a sense of encouragement and a sense of inspiration to someone today. The biblical example for this is Paul and Timothy. Who's your Timothy? The truth is God brings people across my path every day who are potential Timothys. And yet I must step out and step forward like Paul did and invest my life into them. Winston Churchill said, we make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. And Martin Luther King Jr. said, life's most important question is, what are you doing for others? The Apostle Paul spoke to the church at Corinth and he told them, imitate me as I imitate Christ. He was telling them, follow me as I follow Jesus. We've heard the phrase WWJD, what would Jesus do? Paul was saying, if you don't know for sure what Jesus would do, follow me because I'm following him. And as you follow me, you will be following Jesus. There have been times in my life where I wasn't sure what to do. I was lost. I didn't know what to do next. But thankfully, God brought mentors in my life who helped me to find my way. I followed them as they followed Jesus. And now like Paul, I was being challenged to step up and tell other young believers, follow me as I follow Jesus. Imitate me as I imitate Christ. It was my time to be a mentor. Now the truth is, you may struggle because you may have never had a mentor. So let me challenge you with this though. While you never had a mentor, would you be the mentor that you wish you would have had? Someone you mentor will catch your passion and they will maximize your legacy. Recently, I was at a church planning conference and as I was there, I ran into someone I hadn't seen in over 30 years. Last time I saw him, he was 12 years old. I was his youth pastor and now he was a church planter. He had planted a church and he was planting multi-site campuses in Texas. He stood before me and I was just amazed at all that God had done in and through him. And I was so thankful that God had given me a chance to invest my life into him. You see, he's part of my legacy. Not that um, I've planted churches in Texas. Heck, he's more of a church planter than I ever was. But I did have a chance to invest in him. And God ignited his passion. The next time we're together, we'll talk about what to do with someone you mentor. But for now, let me end with this. I'd like to challenge you to spend time today talking to God and ask God, who do you want me to mentor? I challenge you to follow him and invest into the lives of other people. I pray your day is a great one. Onward and upward, on to the 5 million church vision and beyond. May God bless you today and may you enjoy him as you mentor others. God bless. Bye.